Hello fellow champions, hope that you are well this morning and welcome to this new style of video which is going to be a five minute update to give you all the trading information you need to trade successfully in the day ahead. So let's begin. Obviously we have been following closely the DXY, we've been following the ES and we've been following gold futures closely because we are very much aware of the correlation that it has with Bitcoin. So starting off with the DXY, continued strength today. This is obviously the channel that we've been following for the past few weeks. Extremely well respected. Obviously, after bouncing from the middle of the channel, we actually broke out of this channel yesterday, back tested it for another move to the upside. So DXY, pretty strong at the moment. Okay, we're moving now on to, we're going to move on to the ES. ES, obviously, again, in a very nice channel, downwards downwards trending channel but nevertheless bouncing off of yearly open that is a strong bounce off of yearly open very very good to see and it was also the bottom of this channel so you have some confluence down around here you got a bounce you're pulling back for the higher higher low potentially at the moment level to reclaim really for me to get um you know ultra bullish even more bullish than i am on the es is going to be 3300 points okay so 3300 points key for me on the es moving on to gold as we all know gold pulled back heavily along with um you know along with the es and bitcoin yesterday bouncing off the middle of this channel okay so about off the the middle once again of our long-term time frame channel weekly key support for me okay gold's looking a little bit more bearish uh it needs to get acceptance really back above 1940 for a bullish case uh or it seems likely that we're going to be testing this weekly once more uh 1879 dollars okay moving on to the start of the show bitcoin where i mean what can i say about bitcoin Really simply, Fibonacci Masterclass, absolute Fibonacci Masterclass. As you'll know, these are the speed fans that we have been, uh, have just been amazing, haven't they? So obviously the speed fan from our low back on the 13th of March, back up onto the high of $12,500. When we zoom in on this, well, it's just been perfect, hasn't it? Let's go on to the 15 minute chart and we can go in here and we can see the first time we hit the 382. That caused our bounce all the way up to basically $11,200. From there, what did we do? We fell down right onto the CC. And why is this absolutely perfect? Because of the fact we bounced off of the CC to the exact dollar yesterday. That's an exact dollar touch. On the 382 back test, there was just <laughs> Fibonacci confluence. That's what we like to see. As you can see, bouncing off the 382 onto the CC to the exact dollar. Getting the bounce, obviously, cut testing support as resistance. Getting a rejection onto the 618. And now we are curling up here a little bit, isn't it, aren't we? So I would say very likely today that we put in some form of range. Be this a triangle type range where we can expect to see something along this lines. Okay, put in some form of triangle. Or ultimately, we could also expect more of a fake out, which gives us a sideways range going on. I don't have big expectations today to see follow through to the downside, n neither a V-shaped recovery. I am actually expecting a trend day today, so I wouldn't get too excited trying to trade breakouts or breakdowns. I'd be looking to fade the highs, long the lows. I uh, expect a range bound day today. That is obviously under the thesis that we also remain range bound on the ES gold and the DXY. I'm not expecting any major moves on those today. Um, I do believe we're, we're due for a sideways range bound day today. Seeing as we had an extreme move yesterday, what we like to do in these sort of situations, it generally takes two, three days, build up open interest again before you get another move. Okay. That's why today I will use this as a range bound day. I'll look to trade the range and wait for more data to come in of whether I expect this to actually reverse and we head straight back up or whether we get that another leg to the downside. Give me 24 hours, I'll update you again tomorrow. But my plan today, very simply, looking to trade this range, which is around the highs around 10, 10, 10 5, 20. Okay, the lows coming in around, uh, we can say really, if you average this out, around 10, 3, 40. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this quick update. It hopefully has assisted you in making some trading decisions. And uh, yeah, I'll be around all day as always in the chat. Should you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And let's absolutely crush it once again. So that was the morning update that I gave to all the contender and champion members today. And I want to put this on the public YouTube because I feel there is so much value in these updates that, you know, I'm giving this every morning, sometimes a few times a day I give live streams. And there is an unreal amount of value in this. It should really assist people in making sure their technical analysis is correct. And also then being aware of how I'm trading, what I'm looking for in that day ahead. As long as all, obviously all the updates I give throughout the day. I mean, yeah, there's just so much value there. So I wanted to put this on and, and promote that this is a service that we're running. 
um, and hopefully you enjoy these quick five minute updates. So today the public can have this one <laughs> for free uh, on the public uh, YouTube and uh, for the future ones, obviously this is for the contender and champion members, which as we can see, people are, are liking it. So I'm, I'm, ha I'm really happy with that. So I hope that you have a brilliant day ahead. I truly do. And that you enjoy trading this as much as I will, <laughs> along with many of the members who I will show you the results of yesterday. It's been an absolutely perfect day, a big move to the downside, many people capitalizing on it. Uh, obviously, not everybody can get the wins. There's a few losses, but when you learn to switch positions, have risk management on point, no problems at all. Uh, very good indeed. So have a brilliant day, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Goodbye.